everyone, this is Anna from Koala Soap and today we're going to be making a geometric soap using our more rigid mold. We're going to be using, I was all over the place on which colors. I'm going to go with the holiday themes. We're going to do tail green and red strawberry in a clear glycerin uh, melt and pour base and then we have a white shea butter base. I'm still up in the air if I'm going to be doing bio glitter um, or in a pearl mica in there. I'm not sure yet. I received this in the mail from one of my subscribers. Uh, it's a book from uh, Jan Berry, uh, Easy Homemade Melt and Pour Soaps. I believe it was just released today. I'm not sure if I'm putting this the right way for you guys. Um, in Barnes and Noble and on Amazon. I believe it was just released today. And I, it's a great book. It's got a lot of stuff in there. Um, and I did go through it and I, there was no note. So I just, Thank goodness I read it because, my little bookmark, um, on page, it looks like 150, it's Desert Night Sky, and I don't know if you could see that, but it says, um, basically she's saying this design was inspired by um, a galaxy soap using bio glitter uh, by Anna at Koala Soap on YouTube, and I thought, Wow, thank you so much. I mean, that's such a compliment. And so it's a great book. It's got a lot of good information in there. Um, and I can't recommend it enough. I think she also has a couple of other um, people that teach on YouTube. Um, I think I saw Soap Fantasy in here also. So I think um, if you get the book or put it on your Christmas list, I think you'll really like it. Um, it has different recipes, but what I really kind of liked about it was it kind of went into um, like the more organic things and, and, and additives that you can put in that you can't put in, you know, because I still see a, a lot on the forums that people are putting like lavender buds inside melt and pour soap instead of on top of it and it's beautiful, but we all know what's going to happen in a few days. It's going to start to mold and look like mouse poop. I would highly recommend that book and I'm not saying it because I'm in it. I'm basically saying it because it had some really good information and we might actually might try some recipes out of it. Okay, so we'll see about that. So we know that uh, we're going to be using this mold. It, it's anywhere between 20, 21 ounces of soap. I'm going to be using three colors. I've split them evenly. There's seven to a little bit over seven ounce or yeah ounces in each of these i use my little scale here and i have decided we're going to do a holiday theme so we will save these colors for a little bit later our scent will be crafter's choice peppermint and um, we may be using the bio glitter that's made out of uh, it's plant-based we'll go ahead and get these warmed up and get started okay so we have this melted down this is the shea butter melt and pours at about 160 degrees right now um, I'm going to go ahead and actually just mix our alcohol in mica. Actually, you know what? We're leaving this one white. We're not going to do that, but we are going to put in our scent. Our scent is peppermint, and it is a clear. It's a clear base, so we're going to show you. It's pretty clear in there. We're going to add just 1.5, so half of that pipette. That pipette is a 3 ml pipette. We're going to use our chopstick. We're already getting a skin on this. And we're gonna go ahead and just let that melt in. Okay, so we're at about 151 right now. Since this is the first layer, um, we can go ahead and pour it, even though we don't wanna pour the other layers until they're under 132 degrees. So we're going to go ahead, I'm borrowing one of Gavin's books, like I usually do, and I'll put this kind of towards you so you can see. And we're just going to pour in the first layer. And I think I want it to be a little bit flatter. So we're going to do it like this way. Ideally, what I want is for it to cover the bottom, the bottom of the mold. I don't know if that's going to happen on here, but we'll see. And it's okay if you don't use um, all of one color, just have your pink mold ready to go so that you can go ahead and save it for another soap. 
I'm going to go ahead and squirt this with alcohol. I'm going to go ahead and start getting our second um, soap ready. So we're going to go ahead and put this in the microwave while this one's hardening. Okay, so I let this dry to where it's a super thick skin. And what I've done is I even took a, a little ice pack. I actually kept it like this and let it cool because remember the opaque soap takes a lot longer to cool than the glycerin soap. So I guess we'll just leave it like this so it can continue to cool down. I've heated my glycerin, it is at, okay, so we're at 139 on here. I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna add a half a dropper of the peppermint into the soap base. And we're gonna mix up our micro. We have to pour this cool so we, can, we have a little bit of time to wait. And this is cooling on here. So I don't think we're gonna to need to use Gavin's book after all. This is gonna be red strawberry going in. We're gonna mix it very well. And then I think what we're gonna do for the rest of this video um, is probably just play some music because it's gonna get loud around here with kids and everyone. So enjoy. I might talk every once in a while, but I don't think it's gonna be enjoyable everyone's screaming and stuff here but until then here's our red strawberry let's measure see what we're at 133 as long as we're um, pouring under 135 i'm fine so i'm gonna we're gonna move it and we're gonna go like this that way hopefully you guys can still see and it's very important that we squirt with alcohol and then we're gonna go ahead and let's even get a little bit lower. And this one's going to actually cool down faster because the glycerins always do. So we're going to go ahead and squirt this down with alcohol and then we're going to let it harden up. We're going to have to remelt this and then we're going to do the reverse. So at this point, just enjoy the music.
Okay guys, so they're watching a show and it's kind of loud. I think everyone's deaf. I'm going to do this quietly with music in the background and subtitles if needed. So we're going to go ahead and unmold. Mm -hmm. 